Okay, all flight controllers, go to go for landing. Retro. Go. Fido. Go. Guys, go. Patrol. Go. Telcom. Go. GNC. Go. Econ. Go. Surgeon. Go. Capcom, we're go for landing. and you can almost see Cyprus out here on a clear day it's not very clear today but you can see Cyprus grace and peace to you from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ who gives himself for our sins that he might extricate us from the current wicked eon and ladies and gentlemen, it is a extricate. I'm sorry, it's Tertius. E X T R I C A T E. Yes. That he might. No, A T E. That he might extricate us out of the present wicked eon. And this is a wicked eon. This is the eon that crucified our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. And I mentioned the fact that he gives himself for our sins as a way to introduce you to him extricating us from the present wicked eon because some of you Galatians are thinking that you must deliver yourself from your sins. And that if you don't you won't be found worthy to be in the presence of God. But it is God, through Jesus Christ, who gives himself for our sins so completely that my evangel can rightly be called the evangel of the transcendent grace of God. And it also might be said of it that where sin increases, grace super exceeds. You cannot sin your way out of this evangel, which is why we shall be extricated. It sounds like a monumental task to extricate someone. Humanly speaking, it is. Well, I'll even say this. Divinely speaking, it also is. The word extricate, which Tertius is still struggling with, is the right word because it took Jesus Christ tremendous pain and suffering and sacrifice in order to buy humanity. And not only humanity, he is the savior of all humanity, but he is especially the savior of believers. And yet you Galatians, you're wavering on this belief. I established you in the facts of your salvation according to the death of Christ. Now some of you are attempting to perfect yourselves via the law. Galatians, if it were up to you, you would not be extricated from this present wicked eon. Do you think those who adhere to Peter's gospel will be extricated from the present wicked eon? No, they are going to go through the day of indignation. Yet you and I, we are not appointed to indignation. This is due to grace. If it was due to anything else, such as your behavior, you would not be going away with me to the celestial realms. And all of this is in accord with the will of God to whom be glory for the eons of the eons. Amen. I have much to say about this glory. For the, yeah, well, I, I think I can see Cyprus. I think, hold on. Is that, is that it? Do you, do you see what I'm seeing out there? It looks like Cyprus. Cyprus is where Barnabas is from. I like Barnabas. Wasn't too crazy there for a while about his nephew Mark. 
I like Barnabas. He's from there, from Cyprus. But never mind about that. Who gives himself for our sins. That's what I want you to concentrate on today. That's my phrase of the day. And that is the reason that we are extricated out of an eon that is wicked, that is evil. This eon crucified, the Lord of glory. That's why it's a wicked eon. The eon before it wasn't too hot either. Neither was the one before that. This is eon number three. There are two eons ahead of us. The eon of the kingdom of God and the eon of the new heavens and the new earth. To God be glory for the eons of the eons. This is Paul, the apostle of the nations from Antioch.